My name is Akiva Goldman. I'm the director and founder of Goldman & Associates. Our firm has a primary fo focus on family law and issues related to uh, things that go on in your family. So uh, please subscribe to our channel. A lot of people want to know if they have a case for a personal injury if they were injured in, in firework, a firework accident. Now, why would fireworks be different than anything else? Well, for one thing, fireworks is something that attracts a lot of attention. People go, they look at it, they, they, they ooh and ah about it, they discharge fireworks to impress their friends. So it's the kind of thing that people voluntarily involve themselves in. And sometimes the public might think that if they voluntarily involve themselves in the very thing that injures them, that that means that they don't have a case because they've assumed the risk of that voluntary involvement. The truth of the matter is that that's true, but only to a very, very limited degree. In most cases, if you're injured as a result of uh, the, the negligence of somebody else, even if it involves fireworks, you can still bring an action for compensation for your pain and your suffering, your medical bills for the disfigurement, if there is, all of these things are included. So it's important to distinguish between a case that has uh, a, a compensation aspect to it and one that does not. Now, how are you going to know? The answer is you won't, but your lawyer will know. So pick up the phone, call your lawyer, tell him, look, this is what happened to me. I was in the hospital. I'm going to be missing work because of it. Is there anything I can do? And your lawyer will tell you what your options are. If you have any questions about that, of course, reach out and we'll be glad to help you out.